Hey, you know, here I am uh, doing another intro, and I thought, you know, I was getting a little bored with the usual ones that I'm doing at home, so why not go all the way, all the way to Italy, to the Vatican City, and uh, just take a look at some of the, the beautiful sights that you see around here. I mean, this is just, just walking around. So, you know, this is what I do for you. Welcome to, uh, I think I'm on part seven. Enjoy the video. I've just figured out where all my pots are going to be. My tone pots and my, my volume pots. I wanted them in a different configuration. That's why I plugged the original holes. The original ones were kind of like a diamond shape, less Paul. That really didn't work too well. It uh, got in the way of the bridge. My new massive bridge that I'm putting in. So what I decided was kind of like a little smiley face along the bottom like that. Just in that kind of arch following the same contour as the bottom of the, the base. What I'm going to do is just drill a little hole through and then double check the other side making sure that it is where I think it's supposed to be and then I'll, I'll drill for the right diameter. Also with the uh, pickup selector switch as well I'm going to drill that but I think what I have to do first is router it out a little bit more. It's not quite deep enough yet. So I just put these, uh, these are my volume and tone pot uh, knobs that I made out of uh, Tabasco bottle lids. It's going to be cool. Uh, I just put them on top of the hole just to make sure that everything does look good. I just want to make sure that it's centered, that it's not too close, it doesn't come up, you know, somewhere weird. So now I'm ready to uh, drill the proper size diameter hole. Now what I want to do is actually join these two uh, cavities. This is for the, uh, the pickup switch and then uh, the, the main one over here. I'm just going to route right through here, get, just get rid of some of that material. I'm going to half rough it, half, uh, well this, this is a jig that I, uh, that I made up for the access cover route. So it works here. I don't even have to change the depth of the router from my last route when I, when I did this. So it's just going to ride along here, dig out a little trench, and then over on this side, I'm just going to hand rub. I'm just going to go by hand. It's going to be rough, but it's going to get covered anyway. I kind of messed up a little bit. Not a big deal. Nothing's wrecked or anything. But I kind of, uh, like I had the router in plunge mode, so I could come down and then through here, and uh, I was going to be all right. It's taking a bit long, so I thought I'll just do a, a, a pass to lift the router up a bit and take a, a, a shallower pass. What I forgot was the bearing came up and then passed here. So I dug into my uh, my template a little bit. Not a big deal. I was probably never going to use that template ever again. That's underneath the access cover. Anyways, like I said, it's perfectly fine because this is all covered. It just looks a little, a little wanky in here. But that's plenty big enough now for the wire to go from the switch into the electronic cavity. This is certainly something I've never done before. I'm trying to drill the holes for the pickups. What I've decided to do is actually use the pickup cover as my template. I can make a template, but to get something exactly the same size as the, uh, the pickup cover might be kind of tricky. It should work. I have a drill bit, one of these through bits. It's just the right size that will fit right in. As long as that goes straight in into the wood, I'm fine. The only thing I'm nervous about is that the uh, the bit will melt the plastic. That won't be good. But I think it'll work. As long as I don't uh, keep the drill in there too long. I think that worked pretty good. I was a little nervous. Let me just take these out of here. See what's underneath. I didn't go all the way through the body. Yeah, that's good. As long as there's enough that I can get the drill bit in there. Finish the rest of the way. Had these pretty snug. Wrap tape around these little sticks. Just to make a perfect tight fit. There we go. I'm not going to get that 
sound out of my head for a long time. <laughs> <laughs>